Good morning, boys and girls. Today's maths lesson is on decompose and subtract. Subtract. Do you remember what subtract is? Let us refresh our memories. Another word for subtract is minus or take away. What happens when you subtract? The number either gets less or it decreases. Decompose. Let us refresh our memory about what decompose means. Decompose means to break down numbers into smaller parts. We look at the individual place value of each number. In this lesson, we will once again be working with two-digit numbers. Two-digit numbers comprise of tens and units. Another name for units is ones. The first number is the tens number, and the second number is the unit number. Example 1. 26. The number 2 in 26 is 2 tens, which is equal to 20. The number 6 in 26 is 6 units, which is equal to 6. Writing the sum using the decomposition method, 26 is equal to 20 plus 6. Example 2. 54. The number 5 in 54 is 5 tens, which is equal to 50. The number 4 in 54 is 4 units, which is equal to 4. Writing the sum using the decomposition method, 54 is equal to 50 plus 4. Boys and girls, let us work out a few subtraction sums. Example 1. 58 minus 25 is equal to 33. How did we arrive at the answer 33? Yes, boys and girls, we use the decompose and subtract method. To complete the sum, there are four steps to follow. Step 1. Decompose the numbers. 58, when decomposed into tens and units, is 50 plus 8. 25, when decomposed into tens and units, is 20 plus 5. So step 1 will read 50 plus 8 minus 20 plus 5. Step 2, group the numbers. That is the tens with the tens and units with the units. You will notice in this step, we have introduced two sets of brackets. The first set of brackets is your tens brackets, and your second set of brackets is your unit bracket. So in your tens bracket, you will have 50 minus 20. In your unit bracket, you will have 8 minus 5. So step 2 will read 50 minus 20 plus 8 minus 5. Please take note of the signs being used in the step. The minus sign is written between the numbers in the brackets. The plus sign is written between the brackets. Step 3. Minus the tens group and then minus the units group. Your tens group is 50 minus 20. 50 minus 20 is equal to 30. Your unit group is 8 minus 5. So 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. So step 3 will read 30 plus 3. Step 4. Now add the tens to the units to get a total. Your tens is 30, 
and your unit is 3. So 30 plus 3 is equal to 33. So your answer in step 4 is 33. Example 2. 67 minus 46 is equal to 21. Step 1. Decompose the numbers. 67 when decomposed into tens and units will be 60 plus 7. 46 when decomposed into tens and units will be 40 plus 6. So step 1 will read 60 plus 7 minus 40 plus 6. Step 2. Group the numbers. That is the tens with the tens and the units with the units. So in your tens group, you will have 60 minus 40. In your unit group, you will have 7 minus 6. So step 2 will read 60 minus 40 plus 7 minus 6. Step 3. Minus the tens and then minus the units. In your tens group, you have 60 minus 40. So 60 minus 40 is equal to 20. In your unit group, you have 7 minus 6. So 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. So step 3 will read 20 plus 1. Step 4. Add the tens to the unit. Your tens is 20 and your unit is 1. So 20 plus 1 is equal to 21. Once again, I have used two colors to write my numbers. I have used blue to write the tens number and red to write the units number. The two colors will help you with your addition and subtraction. Have fun learning, boys and girls. Don't forget to learn your bonds and tables. Bye.